What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a long time since we had a video like this. I do apologise, but we are back with Jurassic World Evolution 2. So, if you are looking forward to this one, man, make sure to get a wee like, get a share, get a subscribe if you're new here, and make sure to put that bell icon on. But, without any further ado, we are going to get into it. Now, we are going to play the campaign. But I think we're going to live stream the campaign. Same with the chaos theory. Uh, so for now, we're just going to jump in to the sandbox. We're going to go east and Nublar. All buildings. Uh, Jurassic Park and stuff, I think. Because let's be fair, Jurassic World, it's okay. But nothing can beat Jurassic Park. So hopefully we get in. Have a good time. We'll change the daytime cycle as well, just make it so it's a bit longer for us. And yeah, without any further ado, let's drop into it. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoy. Isra Nubla. Where your dreams can become reality. So, in today's episode, I'm thinking we go away, we find a nice spot to start our entrance to our park, go away, make the entrance. And then next time, we'll be going into security. Depending on how long this video is going to be, I'm going to try and make them about 20 minutes long each. So there is going to be a lot of fast play and, like, time lapse. But, you know, it's the only way to show you is what I'm actually doing. So, without taking too much of your guys' time. But make sure, guys, if you are liking what you're seeing, to make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, because it does help out on this side. But without any further ado, guys, I am going to get started. So roll on with the time lapse. Let's go. So right now, what the plan of action is, guys, I'm thinking we're going to go for the Jurassic Park theme for the park. So right now, I'm just placing down the wee entrance, the arrival, and then we're going to add a wee bit of water around the outside. Then we're going to go away, get some terrain, go away, mess around with that, as you'll see in a wee bit. Uh... But yeah, we're just going to go away, paint it in, going to tighten it up, make it look a bit nicer, a bit more natural, you know what I mean. Going to add some hills around the outside, get the paint, put the hard stone down, then get some sand on top, then put dirt around the rim, then lighten that up with a bit of grass. Uh, but yeah, you'll, as you'll see in a sec, there we go, now we're coming in with the, the stone. I am talking over the video guys as I'm watching it, so... I may be jumping a bit ahead, but it's okay, guys. We will get used to this. Uh, but, yeah, we're, we're just going away. As you can see, we're applying the dirt to the, the rim there just to make it so it works. And it blends in a wee bit nicer than just solid stone to grass. You know what I mean? It's not very nice. That It doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. It doesn't make you want to tingle. It doesn't make you think, oh, nice park. It's just like, uh shite. So, pardon my language, guys. Then we're going to go away, we're going to slap some stains, or stones even, but I prefer the word stains for any US viewers or anyone that ain't Scottish, stains are stones and stones are stains, but we're going to just slap some of them in the water here, we've just got to try to blend that water in so it just isn't standing out too hard, and then afterwards we're going to come in with some foliage, some plant edge, some of this, just to get a wee bit of pop. We bit of pop because you can't you can't just sit there with just stains because stains in water it's nice it's nice I get it but we can go the extra mile so why not go the extra mile you know what I mean guys so we're just gonna go away we're gonna do that so I will be back with you in a second I'm just gonna let myself catch up and then yeah I will talk to you guys in a sec.
So now we're going with the terrain mode. We're trying to make it so it's a wee bit enclosed. It feels like the mountains are hugging the entrance. So we feel like we're a wee bit more, more into it. So when you go into first person view and you walk through the park, it's more submersive, it's more reality. It's just delicacy. Then we're coming in with that stone once again, just to give it the, the feel, the feel of it being a mountain and no just what you get at an art museum, a big fancy art museum, and someone's got a pile of dirt and went, I'm going to make a pyramid. No, 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 no. We're, we're getting it, we're getting it, the artist, the artist leak, as I like to put it. So we're just going to get a wee, whoop, wee spit and span, make it look nice, make it look tidy, make it look like your dream bird, or man, whatever you float for. All right, and then we're going to go in with the terrain again, but this time we're going to add a wee bit of uh, the other stone, just to roughen up that stone texture. Just make it look a bit more nice on the eyes, make it look a bit more pleasing. But don't worry, don't need to go into it too much. Can leave it to make it look a bit crap, as you are going to be coming in with following up with the plantage. The plantage is what brings this area to life. Now, I do spend a lot of time on the entrance, but the plan is we're going to do the entrance, we're going to do the main area that you go to, and then from there we're going to go and we're going to decide on where we're going to put the security and all the all the equipment that you need to be able to run the park successfully. We're adding... Now, here... Uh, this, this bit here changes quite a little bit in the video. I'm not going to lie. I was, I was happy with it, and then I wasn't happy with it, and then I was happy with it, and then I wasn't happy with it. So th there is a lot of give and take. Like, just move things around until you feel that tingle in the bottom of your toes to the top of your soles. You know what I mean? You, ju you just want to have that spring in your step when you're there making it. Because you don't want to be sitting here for hours making something, getting bored. Uh, you want to you keep it interesting, snappy, fun, pleasant on the eyes, uh, but yeah, as I was saying, so we're, we're going to be, we're, we're thinking of areas to make the dinosaurs, uh, so what we're going to do, sorry about that guys, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go away and leave it down in the comments down below on what dinosaurs you want to see, like, us make parts for, like, make little areas, little containers, etc. I'm thinking going away and making it so eventually we'll have it so we have like a big mountain in the middle of the map and on that big mountain you're going to have the T-Rex, the one and the only big Rexy coming in with the save, going to have that surrounded with a lake of water going around the rim just to make it look like if there was near the water the dinosaur might escape, you know what I mean? And then we're going to go away. We'll make that all nice and scenic. We're going to have the lagoons. But we're going to have it so the lagoon goes around in like an octagon shape. In the middle of that, I'm thinking maybe going away, making it into some sort of terrain. And then maybe transferring a Spinosaurus into the middle of it or something to do with water. And then obviously you don't need the walls. You don't need the fences. Why? Because you've got the lagoons to stop the dinosaurs breaking out. Uh and then for the main area, for like where our security and that's going to be, I'm thinking of double walling. So we're going to surround it in a wall, the, the concrete wall, and then get the electrical wall and two tap it. So it's two tapped over the brick wall just to give it a wee bit more depth, a wee bit more security. As you can see here though, we're, we're putting the Spinosaurus in. Uh, now, we're thinking... At this point in time, I'm thinking this is a good spot. Now, this does change as well because I find it to be a much better spot later on in the clip, as you'll see. Uh, but yeah, like, make sure, guys, if you are liking what you're seeing here and you have any, any recommendations, any comments, any suggestions, drop them down below. I'll give them a little read. We'll see what we can do. We'll see if we can imply it into the park. Same with dinosaur names. If... Once we start getting the dinosaurs in, if you want to start naming them, make sure to drop it down below. I will be adding the first comment to each dinosaur. So, with the dinosaurs, how we're going to be doing it is, if I've got Velociraptors, for example, obviously, let's say they come in a pack. I want to say they come in a pack of six. 
So you'd have V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. And then at the end of whatever one you're wanting, so V1, whoever says V1, and then the name of that, or whatever the best name is that I can find, that I, I find, like, amazing, like, outstandingly named. Uh, we'll go away and we'll use that, and you guys can make this park with me. Like with the names of the dinosaurs, etc. Because I am, I, I, I am looking forward to doing this as a series. Like I, I am a big Jurassic Park fan. So if you do want to talk about dinosaurs and that, make sure to jump into the lives. We can talk about some dinosaurs. Uh, also, if you've got any questions down below, make sure to drop them. But this is what the, the the style that I'm using here is from a, a YouTuber that I like to watch. Uh, it's evil, so if you've ever got spare time and you're just looking for things to kill time and you're wanting some creative ideas, look at Evil's channel. Evil is fantastic. Uh, absolutely fantastic. She, she's the one that showed me that you can blend things this way and make it click and make it work. And Really, all the sandbox mode is, is making a story. And I'm not going to lie, guys, I love a story. I, I, I generally, I love a story. Like, I'm a storyteller, I like to hear stories. I don't like reading stories, but I like hearing stories. But I don't like reading stories because I'm no good at reading. But that's all right, guys. Uh, <laughs> like, I, I can't read, I just it takes me a wee second or two. But yeah, as you can see, we're just coming in with some foliage on the background there, just to hide the fact that we've built it bang on that border. Just try and make it look a bit more fill, a bit more lifely, a bit more... Mm, you know what I mean. But yeah. I will be back in a little bit as well. I'm just going to skadoodle the now while you enjoy watching me fill up this area. I will be back once we move on to the next stage of the project. So, as you can see here, I've got the pterodactyl, uh, I don't even care what to call them, like, statues, maybe? But, like, the idea with the, the pterodactyl statues, guys, is I'm going to add them into the water. Because for a distance, like, you know what they are. You know that, obviously, you can't even, you're not going to add real, real pterodactyls at the entrance. Because as soon as that chopper goes, <laughs> to get out of here, man, all you're going to get is, all right, and then you're just going to end up looking like Jurassic Park is 2. No. Is it 2? It's 2 or 3. It's one of... I think it's 3. I think it's 3, actually, because it's when the wee boy goes missing and the Spinosaurus shows up, and it's the third one. It's the third one, guys. It is the third one. So, obviously, as they're paragliding, as you've seen in the movie, they go... They go they got messed up, all right. They got they got messed up. There ain't no way around it. They just got messed the hell up <laughs> for the pterodactyls. But that's because they're in the sky. So we went away. We've just added some of the statues there. But later on, we're gonna get the big plumpy bushes. I love the plumpy bushes. So we're gonna get that, and we're gonna put the lights in the plumpy bush to hide the lights. But we're gonna shine the light onto the thing. So when it's night time, it's just gonna pow, pow, pow pop and it's going to look fantastic if i may say so but you'll see this in all good time as you can see i'm just going in with a wee bit more 
I, I, I thought I wanted a bit more stone there, I didn't. But then I've chose to go for this darker stone for this area, just because it's not got the sand there. So it blends that bit in as well. It's not leaving it as open. It's not leaving it as depressed and expressed as it is. It's just giving it a bit of characteristic, a bit of love, a bit of tender care. Best way I put it, guys, this, while you're making your park, look at look at your park like it's risotto. If you leave risotto and you don't stir it, it's going to turn into a heap of shite. If you go away and you take the time, you take the care and you take the love, that risotto is going to be one of the most beautiful things that you've ever tried in your life. It's like a, it's like any any good thing. Like if you rush it, you're looking at a devastation. You're looking at devastation for the simple fact that you've rushed it. You, you you've went past because you're just sitting looking at the end end line. Like I don't know how long this may take for us to finish this park. Like I've not got a time frame in my head for it at all. But if you rush it, all you're looking at is at the end end of the track. All right, and if you're looking at the end of the track, you're never looking at what's in front of you. It's like life. If you go away and you keep looking into the future and looking into the future and looking into the future, you'll miss all the things that are happening in the present. And if you miss everything in the present, then you go, oh, the future's going to be crap. Oh, this, is, this build's going to be crap. When really, it's not. It's not going to be crap at all. It's just that you need to go away and mind to take the time. If you take your time doing your hair, Take the time playing the game. If you take time playing the game, take time to take care of yourself. If you take care of yourself, take care of your mental health, etc. It's all it's all just time. Like, obviously, time's precious. But, hey, everything's precious in this world. It just depends on what your point of view is on it. Like, I know some people find, are they can two pence is, wow, out there. Unbelievable. Because think about it, as you're a, when you're a kid, when you go away and you find a lucky penny on the ground, you jump with joy. You're like, oh my God, I've just found money. Even though it's just a penny. But then all that you get, the more you want, the more you want, the more you want. So you just got a mind to like, keep it in, in to the point that it's doable, but not boring. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, but as you can see, we're adding the lights here and it's, it's making that Spinosaurus skeleton. Pow! Like, pow, pow, right out at you. And then, obviously, when you're landing in on the chopper, all you've got is this Spinosaurus glowing up in the red, looking dangerous, because, obviously, it's an apex predator back here, back in the day. It was an apex predator. Used to live off a of fish. It used to live in the swamps. Honestly, I, I'd, I'd rather take my chances with Mike Tyson than I would a dinosaur. That's all I'm saying, all right? Like he's a he's a monster himself. That Jake Paul, he he's he's a goner, bro. All right, he's a goner. I would never fight the one, the only Mike Tyson. But then again, he is getting old, guys. He is getting old. So let me know down below who you're betting on for that fight. I, I, I'm a 50-50, eh? Like I want to go Mike, but at the same time, Mike's out his prime. But then he's still that he's still that animal deep down. Just like how the Spinosaurus, T-Rex, Velociraptor, if you bring them back today, it'd be all good having them in a park, as Jurassic Park had that. But, they're apex predators. They're going to look for ways to become a dominant source. They aren't going to be like your little fucking chihuahua that you can leave on your doorstep and just have a sign up being like, oh, don't go near it. No, no, no. You go near it and it sees that you it can take you it's going to come flying through that fence and try to take you on. Like, I ain't going to care if you're, if you're a queen, a sir, a he, a she, a them, whatever. It's going to come and it's going to rip your throat off because that's the biology of the dinosaur. Uh, but yeah, like, make sure, guys, if you are liking what you're saying, to make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And thank you for making it this far through into the video. But as you can see, we're just going away. We're adding some terrain. We're just adding a wee bit of trees, just things to break it up so it isn't just flat, boring. Like, you want to give it that depth. The depth is what you're looking for. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm still messing around with my trees. I, I, I do like I do like the accessories item selection for, like, decor. Uh, you do get some cracking plants in there. 
Also, for anyone that's played Jurassic World Evolution 2 for a longer period of time than me, what... Oh, pardon me, guys. Apologies. Uh, what pack, DLC pack, would you recommend for me to buy first to get them dinosaurs into the game? Make sure to drop it down below. If you see the one that you like down below, make sure to just give that comment a little like. Whatever comment has the most amount of likes will be the pack that we will buy uh, in the upcoming episodes. Now, here I thought this... I, I, I was looking at this, all right, and I was like, this isn't the right building. Because I was like, that ain't the building for Jurassic Park 1 when you roll up in the car with uh, Graham and all that. But I was like, all right, may maybe it's just the game being weird. As, as you'll see in a little bit after I've finished decorating it, etc. Like, I've realised... That's the wrong building, so I do fix it, but I'm just going to leave you here, just to enjoy the montage, enjoy the music, sit back, relax, just have it in the background if you really want, like, just background noise, uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoy the decor that I'm doing, if I do inspire you, make sure to drop it down below, and if you have any recommendations on ways to, like, do texture and this and that, let me know down below. I will read through the comments. But yeah. So, as you can see here, I'm going away and I'm doing the same trick that i just done on the lake. I'm putting some some lights hidden in the bush, just to give these dinosaur bones just a wee bit of pop. So, for the T-Rex, we're going to go a red. We're going to go a red. And then for the Bra Brachiosaurus, I want to say it is. I may be wrong, guys. Correct me down below. Uh, we're going to go for a green, because obviously, herbivore. Then we've got the, the one and only Mr. Hammond in the middle of the park here. So we're going to go away. We're going to add the nice, rich colour. So I was thinking maybe gold, make him pop, make him show that he's, he's, he's the kingpin. And then I was like, you know what? Let's follow the same thing because he's made the, the predator, the apex predators of the Jurassic Park. But then he's also had his hand in making the hair before, so why not go for a green and red? Because he's good, but he's bad at the same time. 
he's good because he went away and he pushed science to the max to see if it was possible to make the dinosaurs. But at the same time, by doing so, he he he, he did kill people. Yeah, like he did kill people by his uh, wee experiment. So we're just gonna go away. We're messing around with that. We're having a wee fuck around, as I like to put it. Then we're thinking. We're going to go off into the two sides and we're thinking maybe going one way to get to like security, one way to get to like the the things. I need to, the whole reason I've pu- pulled out that gate there is I'm going to do a glitch later on in the series that I'll have it so we'll have the track, the driving tracks going through the pathways, through the fences, etc. into the enclosures just to make it look a bit nicer. But as you can see here is me trying to fix my, my mistake from earlier for putting the, down the wrong building. So bear with me for a sec. I, I, I do I do struggle quite a bit trying to line it up perfectly. It is pretty hard on an analog stick uh, to do all this perfectly stuff. And I think it would be much easier on a, a laptop or computer or something with like keyboard and mouse basically, like. Uh, but yeah, like as I was saying, we're trying to find it so it can wrap into that pathway nicely, but not make it look horrible. But yeah, as you can see, I, I keep moving it around. I'm not happy with it completely. I'm not going to lie, guys. But we are nearly getting to the end of this episode. So make sure, guys, if you have liked it, to make sure to drop it down below and just say, I like this content. I would like to see more of this content. Also, uh, we're going to be going into like some weird domains and things like that. Like as you can see now, I'm a, I'm a big guy for my water features. I love a good water feature. Even when I go out to like actual places in the world, like real life world, I do see if I see water, man. That's where you'll find me. Uh, you'll find me next to a pond, man. Like honestly, you could have a, you could have a herd of zebras over to the right or a pond on the left and honestly I'd go to the left there I'd be like I know what a zebra looks like I like ponds they're just chill they're just nice they're just aesthetically pleasing the water with the stone with the plants it's just so natural and I don't know it's just something about it just oh amazing delicacy but yeah remember guys if you want any dinosaurs put in first or any enclosures put in first just drop it down below I think the next episode we're going to go away. We're just going to go into making the security. So we're going to go entrance, security, guests, maybe. Or maybe guests near the end. I don't know. We'll figure out where, when we're going to put in the guest stuff. I think near the start would probably be quite wise. Uh, having it so like it goes from like the guest area into the security area into the evacuation area and then having on the other side into the lagoon into the uh ever oh, into the pterodactyl enclosures i can't mind what the word is i apologize uh ever ever i can't even say it man i know what it is i just can't say it uh I go away, have that, and then into the actual nice shared enclosures, private enclosures, dirty enclosures, wrecked enclosures, good enclosures, hybrid enclosures, etc. Like it is, there's a lot of open space and open area to muck around with us. So make sure if you do want to see hybrids or herbivores or carnivores or whatever, make sure just to drop it down below. And we will see what we can do. And we'll go over the space and etc. But hopefully we'll try to get at least 20 to 26 dinosaurs in this park. Roughly. In shared enclosures etc. But we will see. But as you can see I'm just finishing up the pond here. Uh, we are coming to the end of this video. So if you have enjoyed make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. And hit the bell icon. And thank you once again, guys, for joining me on this episode. I'm just going to give you a little walk through it. To the start of Jurassic Park. I'm really liking the vibe that I've given adding the plants with the rocks.
rocks and then the lights hidden inside the bushes just to give the pterodactyls a wee bit of a glare and then at the night time it will help light it up even more got the spinosaurus skeleton over there just to show you what it would be like in the apex predators domain but next time guys we will be going into the park as we have made the main bit so you come through the park entrance i'm thinking we put dinosaurs on the left hand side we put the security all on the right hand side all the all the wee nitty gritty things and then in the middle of the park i'm thinking somewhere around here having a big lagoon and inside the lagoon having a territory like an enclosure but just without the fences but we are open to suggestions uh, for when we do start releasing the dinosaurs but until then guys i hope you've enjoyed but till then, next time, peace out. Stay happy, guys.